I created Death Ray six years ago. I now have as many viewers as the Super Bowl. The drivers are convicts, and the rules are simple. There are no rules. <laughs> Win and get your freedom. Or die trying. Who's the new guy? Jensen Ames. He used to race for NASCAR. They say he killed his wife. I guess he didn't like the old Neil. I want you to drive for me. Unless you think I'm gonna risk my life doing this for you. I'm offering you your freedom. All you have to do is walk off that track alive and win, of course. The race takes place in three stages over three days. Tomorrow you meet your navigator. They get busted in from the women's facility. So what about the other drivers? It's kill or be killed. I'm gonna win this race because I want out of here. Time to make the monster. Mustang V8 Fastback. Three-quarter inch steel plate for defense. Smoke, oil, and napalm. And 30 millimeter machine guns for offense. It's on. Now that's entertainment. You're all lucky a driver like me just happened to turn up in your prison. Oh, I'm more than lucky. You're out in front. Who are you gonna shoot at? You don't go backwards. He knows we set him up. What are we gonna do? We're going to kill him. What just happened? Can't kill me. You can burn me, you can shoot me, but you can't kill me! Report back to me when, uh, I don't know, when it makes sense. Now for our next item, the Royal Crown of Beth Mora, a piece from a long lost culture. Lost? Not at all. Very much alive. And I am here to reclaim what is rightfully mine. Call security! When our world is threatened, I have returned to wage war and reclaim our land. My forces beyond our understanding. <laughs> Our government turns to an elite, top-secret organization. We're moving out. We had over 70 guests reported. We have no survivors. Same story here, babe. Don't call me babe. Hey, I said, hey. Red, we have company. Royal seal. I'm Princess Nuala. 
My father died to uphold the truce with your world. I will call upon the help of all the children of the earth. The good. The bad. Give it up, Nasty. We can see it. You see me? How? How do you see me? And the worst. The Golden Army. The unstoppable force. Oh, crap. Kill them. I wouldn't do that if I were you. They're afraid of me. You have more in common with us than with them, demon. Excuse me. Make the choice. You woke up the baby. Look at this, Alex. We found it, Professor. It's the tomb of the Dragon Emperor and his army. This is incredible. 2,000 years ago, China's Dragon Emperor conquered half the world. Now, he is returning to finish the job. Here we go again. From Universal Pictures. We're gonna do this my way. I put down more mummies in my time than you. You put down one mummy, Dad. Yeah, same mummy, twice. And the producers of The Mummy and The Mummy Returns. How exactly was supposed to fend them off? When the Emperor built the Great Wall, he buried his enemies underneath it. I will call them to battle once again. So these are the good undead guys, right? This year. I tell you to fasten your seatbelts, but it was too cheap to buy any. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing? Beyond death. I really hate mommy. Beyond imagination. Did this guy ever run out of tricks? Lies an adventure that will live oh, on. for all eternity. Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Good evening. I shall resign the presidency at noon tomorrow. This is an historic day, the only time a president has ever resigned from office. Nixon knew about the Watergate cover-up. The man who has committed the greatest felony in American history will never stand trial. I've had an idea for an interview, Richard Nixon. You're a talk show host. I spent yesterday watching you interview the Bee Gees. Weren't they terrific? <laughs> Why would I want to talk to David Frost? I got half a million dollars. Really? <laughs> Frost has hired three crack investigators. Can I be crack one? Can I be deep crack? <laughs> Can I shake his hand? After everything he's done in this country? Are you kidding me? Oh, pleasure to meet you. Mr. President. That was devastating. I mean, I don't think he's ever going to get over that. Frost is just not in your class, sir. You're going to be able to rebuild your reputation. This entire project is a joke. I do hope that isn't coming out of your own pocket. I wish my pockets were that deep. I'm in this for everything I've got. There's a reason they call him Tricky Dick. You stand by to roll tape. You had a pleasant evening last night? Uh, yes. Four, three, two. To do any fornicating. And Hugh David. Uh, uh, the American people need a conviction. 
I'd like to give Richard Nixon the trial he never had. Democracy depends on it. We're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna make them choke on power and glory. Why didn't you burn the tapes? I didn't want to take any questions on water. They shut it down. I will ruin you if it takes the rest of my life. What have I done? If in this interview, Nixon exonerates himself poor, that would be the worst crime of all. Three, two, Q. David. Are you really saying the president can do something illegal? I'm saying that when the president does it, that means it's not illegal. I'm sorry. <laughs>